All right, welcome back to Autodesk Maya. In this tutorial, we're gonna to to discover the MASH uh, ID node in Maya. So I have a cube, a pyramid, and a sphere. Right now, they're all hidden. If I select them all, I can hit uh, Shift-H and kind of bring them back. And um, you can see here, if I move one out of the way, I got this kind of extrusion cube here. Uh, I've got this uh, kind of funky sphere and a funky pyramid, basically, so. Just kind of move them back to the origin here. And then I'm going to shift select them all and, and hide them all. So I'm just going to hit shift H to hide them all. Uh, I'm sorry, control H. So I'm going to select the uh, pyramid to create my mesh network. So even though it's hidden, I can still create this. So you want to go to the FX menu again, go to mesh and create mesh network. And what will happen is you'll get these uh, pyramids here. And so if we go to the distribute node, we're going to uh, change it from linear to, let's try radial. And what I want to do is, or no, not radial, let's do spherical. Uh, I just want to crank this value up. So 100 is not quite enough. Let's give it like maybe, I don't know, 700. Let's see how that looks. That's looking fairly spherical. We could even go higher yet, maybe uh, 800. Uh, just to kind of fill in a little bit more. But now you can see uh, we have the pyramid. So in order for the ID node to work, we need to first go to the MASH1 repro node and basically populate it with whatever uh, other geometry we want to add. So what we can do is middle click and drag these objects to here without selecting. It's very important you do that because if you accidentally select again, you deselect the uh, MASH1 overall uh, repro node here. So again, I'm going to middle click and drag the cube one, drop it in here, and then middle click and drag the sphere and drag it in here. So now we have three objects here. So in order for this to work, we need to go back to MASH1 and uh, go to the ID node. And you kind of see there's an indicator here that kind of shows the three different uh, primitives and what basically it'll do. Uh, so we're going to right click on it, and I'm sorry, left click, go to add ID node, click on that. And then uh, what will happen is you'll get a linear distribution by default. And we can see now that we have all three objects sort of populating our scene here. So the way this works, you can enable or disable, of course, just like all the other nodes. And then in here, you can choose the different variables. So there's a random one here. There's a uh, cycle distribution type, and then a fixed type here. And you can see all these different ones here. So if you choose cycle, there is some options down here that you can choose. So the cycle gap, you can drag this and random start. So it'll adjust the look and feel here. Um, if you choose random, let's see, are there any options? Uh, no, there's no other options here. Uh, and then, oh, there's the random seed. I forgot that. Um, so this guy will affect the randomness also. So you can adjust that. And it'll just kind of randomly redistribute them. Now the ID count, what that represents is basically the three objects. So if I drag this down to two, uh, what will happen is we only have the cube and the pyramid now without the sphere. And then of course we go to one, we have just the pyramid. So pretty much uh, if you want all three, just go to three. And you can, of course, the number will go up if you had other, um, other geometry in here. So pretty cool node to play around with, the MASH ID node. Uh, so have fun playing around with it. Just remember you have to load them into the repro node before you are able to uh, manipulate them. And here it is here, the MASH ID node in Autodesk Maya. Until next time, see you soon. Cheers.